So we're going to see returning into this set, Ender and Keystone, uh, Blue Team, Fox and Samus. And over on Red Team, we're going to have uh, Mike B playing Falco and Croker on Jigglypuff. This is going to be a really cool set. I haven't seen um, Croker or Mike be playing quite a while, so this is really, really cool to watch. Um, I believe Croker has quite a few characters. Um, I'm not surprised you would play his buff for doubles at all. And Mike be sticking Falco. Um, one of the better Falco mains in Portland, I would say. And, uh, like, I don't, know, I don't know if he's, like... So many spaces are kind of dual mains, especially when it comes to doubles, that you're like, even Ender, who's a Falco main as well, not surprising to see that he just wants to play box for doubles. He tends to be a little bit more efficient unless you have like a more strict game plan. Or, I mean, just plainly speaking, Fox is a better doubles character. Obviously, Falco can't work. I also think, actually, especially with Puff, you can do a lot of really good setups, like trapping people into Puff's grab, um, especially using, like, utilizing Falco's lasers and stuff. Ooh, that really spotted Kroger away. Um, I think it's going to be really pivotal in this matchup. Like The red team closing out the stocks on Keystone are going to be really, really important, I think, because otherwise he's going to stock tank. You're going to end up seeing a situation where Ender can take a lot of stocks in the end of the game, or he's just going to constantly keep coming back. It's like that trade right there um, from Kroger. You really would just have to take that. Wow, that's also a really well placed um, backer from Keystone. Wow, Keystone's really finding like these good hits, these good backers, these good forward smashes, just lining stuff up, especially near the ledge when like they're trying to recover, just catching people on their fall. Oh wow, that was really well placed from Croker too. Because for a little while there, it looks like Keystone was just like having a, you know, one-on-one -on -one edge guard over there versus Mike B. But Croker found a really good time to come in and find that dash attack, and closes out his stock. Absolutely, getting Ender a stock lead on Blue Team. That was a really well placed fair from Croker. It's gonna close it out too. Another trade on the edge guard. That was a really greedy grab that Kroger was just trying to find on Keystone there. Unfortunately, I don't even think you get a whole lot for your grabs as Puff versus Samus. So I'm, it, like, I, the risk reward probably isn't worth getting dared. Oh wow, Mike, you had a really good combo going there. Unfortunately, it got interrupted, so he wasn't able to close out on him there. Oh, wow. That edge guard situation was very, very tense. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, that's not going to kill Puff, but that will. Okay. Ender and Keystone are going to take the first one. This is looking like a really tense set. I think if Croker and Mike B, um, if they clutch some of those edge guard situations are a little bit more organized where they're using like where they're using their side Bs respectively, then they could really turn around those situations and just hold on to their stocks a little longer and maybe even convert some of those edge guards. Oh no. Ender had that little flub on the ledge. And, and he got rolled up. That really sucks. Okay, this game is looking a little more sloppy than the first one. A lot of weird stuff happening over on the stage left. I really like how Ender just, he, he saw Croker approaching. He said, no, I'm just, you have to run across the stage. I'm going to go 2v1 your teammate now. 
Corruptor's really patient in his shield, like looking for what Fox, like anyone was looking for, whether it was a uh, Keystone the first time around or Ender here. A little bit of an overextension there on Croker. Like, you could uh, um, let Ender kind of go far away. You know you can't follow up on it, like, guaranteed. And you could have, like, set up a short 2v1. Get something more to happen on Keystone. And, you know, 150%. Wouldn't have been hard to set that zone up. Been there. Been there, Croker. I saw that recovery attempt. Oh, nice. Fantastic. That's really good, like, before match. Getting caught by the laser and just knowing you're going to be actionable. And getting, you know, get a good hit box out, try to close it. Oh, wow. Up throw rest. Actually really good that Mike B took that hit. That would have been way worse for Samus. I mean, would have been way worse for Puff to have gotten hit by. Oh, no. Wow. The greediest up smash, but he knew he knew how to find it on the Croker there. Pretty low percent to actually go out. Like, we've been seeing the Croker live pretty far. So losing at that stock is like, oh, no. Oh wow, Croker got stuck under the stage there from that shine. He's gonna be able to make... Oh man, this is actually really tense. It's like, if Red Team loses this puff stop just like that, or Mike B gets gimped, and now he's in this like 2v1 death off the top, it could be really bad. But uh, Keystone actually opted to go for like, getting a charge shot ready, which, I, you know what, during your last stock, I don't think that's so bad because, look, now Mike B's gone, and now you have puff at a percentage where that really, really could matter, you know? You need to make sure your teammate lives here, though. Yeah. Oh, that. That was. That's rough. Puff wants to rest out of shield so bad on that, but you just don't get the option because you know that you're gonna immediately get killed by Fox. That's gonna do it. There's no way Puff can make it back from that. Damn. Blue team really pulled that together. That was amazing. Oh wait, wait, wait. It's a best fight. I forgot that this was a uh, cure to five. They're going Yoshi's for it this time. Wow. No, Ender is. Good. Nope. Didn't get anything else off it either. You know what, though? You still got to take that. Like, you're not really not taking much for enough to rest, even if it doesn't kill. It's like, hey, that's 38%. Oh no, Croker really wanted to get down there. He still might be able to. This is such a mess. Even the players are where they're like, oh, this is this is silly. I can agree. Okay. Oh, might be opting for like simple recovery, going straight to ledge. It's actually kind of hard to cover because if you lose invincibility right when you go for it, you're gonna make it in. Okay, so again, I'm like, I'm not super surprised to see this situation, uh, but we see red team, you know, having a short lead, losing it because they're kind of dying early. It's like King the team, Puffs dying off top, uh, Fox up smashes and stuff, and Mike he's just getting, just getting edge guarded. He's just getting like him to count these low percentages. Falco getting stuck just outside of the stage. And if your teammates not there to like help that situation, you're kind of in trouble. Oh wow, Falco's up. He actually hit on that and killed. It's actually, it's not as rough as it seems. Puff at low percent is not so bad. If Falco holds onto this stock for a while, he makes something of it. And, see, and Keystone's already a really high percentage. If they just actually get us another hit on this edge guard, which they couldn't clutch out. Oh, that was beautiful. 
Croker closing out that stock on it. It was really, really well, well needed. You know, I think th I think this one's Red King's game. It might be just doesn't die right now. I think it's theirs. Oh, and especially with the, the team killing him here. Okay, it's still a two v one here though. A lot of Samus's tools are um they're gonna be defensive like, but are a little bit committal. Like if, if you see a crouch cancel down smash or anything with the few you know the little time. Samus has left to do with that with the percentage she has. Any of that's gonna be like be able to be punished by their next teammate, you know. But Puff, Puff could always die early. 99% is not a good percentage to be at his Puff. And I hit kids his teammate in that. That'll do it. Well placed. Kind of a weird sloppy game, but um, Croker might be. They clutch that one out. They, um, they made it. They didn't realize they were having a three out of five when they started either. So they like made one ban for the first counter pick of the set, and they're like, "Well, we had a ban, so you guys can have a ban now." That's only totally fair. Okay, Croker is opting to kind of stay away from his teammate here. It looks like kind of active, but now that yeah, but now Mike P's in trouble. He's like, I gotta move. That's an up throw up air. Good SDI. Mike P's just kind of over here scrapping. They're like trading percentages pretty closely. Um, he's doing Mike P. If uh, either of these floaties get separated from these teammates, I think we're gonna see those stocks go away. Wow, Mike P really clutched that situation. Now that that could have been really bad. Could have been a 2v1 situation. Oh, okay. But Keystone, Keystone clutched it, and then Croker's probably going to take this stock from Ender. Now he, he uh, did slug up. I wonder if he was looking for like a ledge dash or um, something else in the stage. Oh, yeah. I saw that earlier and said, hey, you know Puffs want to rest that, but that's the positioning was just off just a little bit. Oh, that was such a well-placed back air from Kroger. I don't even be biased because I'm the Julie Puff player that I'm watching all the stuff the Puff player does. I can't help it. <laughs> oh, okay, wow, Kroger let go of the ledge just the right time there. Ender getting kind of sandwiched in this situation, but he found a really well near, good near. Broke some space, gave himself some air, and now he's gonna get this edge out of Mike B as well. That's a team effort. Wow. Wow, Ender shouldn't have been able to make that back. Okay, we're still seeing it really close. Um, two stocks trust the board. Might be trying to make something happen over here on stage right versus Ender. He keeps getting combos kind of started, but then getting get, like getting interrupted. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I knew it. I I was thinking it was like one of these blue team players is gonna look to just get some good smash attack over here on Puff to close it out like an 80% stock. Oh my gosh, 33% on jump puff so quickly a forward smash into a charge shot. see another kind of like tense 2v1 situation but I think yeah it's gonna come down this isn't so bad I don't know Puff has the tools to do this get a good hit on Fox close him out you know get rid of the, like your main kill threat 
You can you can really space out a lot of Samus stuff for a long time. No jumps. That's it. Wow. Good stuff from Ender and Keystone. Uh, Kroger might be putting up a hard fight too. None of those games are like dominating, right? By the way, just to note, Andy, if, 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 if you want to play over here, you certainly can, because the rest of Doubles is going to end up over there, because they're doing losers. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. I thought you were, you were coming here. 